HMS Queen Elizabeth is the first ship of the Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers. It is the flagship of the Royal Navy Surface Fleet and is capable of carrying 40 aircrafts including fixed wing, rotary wing, and autonomous vehicles. Its sea trials began in mid-2017 and entered into active service in early 2020. She is named in honor of the World War I-era Super Dreadnought, which in turn was named after Queen Elizabeth I. It's the most expensive project of the UK defense industry, its estimated project cost is over $8 billion, and is the largest warship Royal Navy ever put into service. The HMS Queen Elizabeth has a length of 284 meters and a width of 73 meters. It has a displacement of 65,000 tons which is almost the same as Shandong aircraft carrier of the Chinese Navy. The HMS Queen Elizabeth has a 4,727 square meters hangar below the flight deck, which is large enough to simultaneously accommodate up to 36 F-35 fighter aircrafts along with four helicopters. The HMS Queen Elizabeth can be deployed to anywhere in the world with a short notice, as it has an operational range of 10,000 nautical miles without a single replenishment from support ships. The design of the HMS Queen Elizabeth emphasizes flexibility, with accommodation of 250 Royal Marines and ability to support them with attack and transport helicopters. Recently it was deployed as a lead ship of the UK Carrier Strike Group which was comprised of escort and support ship with the aim to project power and support allies in the South China Sea. The HMS Queen Elizabeth design features two smaller islands instead of traditional design of single large island on the flight deck. This separates the running of ship from the flying operations, which results in greater visibility of operations and increases chances of survivability in case of being attacked. Both islands can assume each other's role in case one of them gets a direct hit and is out of service. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is not a nuclear-powered but a conventional-powered one. It is powered by two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbine generators, which can generate 72 megawatts power. Alternatively it is equipped with four diesel electric generators, which can also generate a total of 40 megawatts power. Both propulsion systems are located in different areas of the ship such as front and back, and are separated by watertight doors from other compartments of the ship. The HMS Queen Elizabeth has four shaft propellers, which can provide it with a top speed of 30 knots on high seas. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is equipped with traditional ski jump ramps and arrested wires to launch and recover aircrafts on its flight deck. The electromagnetic catapult launch systems are very efficient and can generate many more sorties with full payload capacity as compared to the ski jump ramps, but its development is very expensive and requires immense technological know-how and expertise of the said system, which is why countries prefer to equip their medium-sized aircraft carriers with traditional ski jump ramps, as it doesn't have extra building and maintenance costs. The HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier is equipped with S1850M radar system. The S1850M is a long-range radar with a digital antenna array for a wide area search in elevation. It is a modified version of the Thales Nederland Smart L radar system. It is capable of fully automatic detection and can track up to 1,000 targets at a range of 400 kilometers. The S1850M radar system is believed to be highly capable of detecting stealth targets, as well as satellites and ballistic missiles in low Earth orbit in a radius of 100 km. The HMS Queen Elizabeth will also be equipped with Type 997 Artisan radar system for target indiction, situational awareness, and navigation. It is a medium-range air and surface surveillance 3D radar developed and built by base systems for the United Kingdom's Royal Navy. The Type 997 Artisan has a range of 200 km, and is capable of tracking more than 900 targets simultaneously. The Bay system claims that the Type 997 Artisan can detect and track targets traveling as fast as Mach 3 and having a radar cross-section as small as the size of small birds. Its electronic countermeasure capabilities is believed to be best in the world, even against the most complex jammers. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is using the Series 2500 electro-optical system developed by the Ultra Electronic for Royal Navy. It provides important within visual range situational awareness, visual tracking, and gunnery fire control. 
For self-defense purposes against incoming projectiles, the HMS Queen Elizabeth is equipped with Phalanx Close in weapon system designed and developed by Raytheon. It's a point defense weapon used to shoot down incoming crews and anti-ship missiles. The Phalanx SeaWiz system consists of a 6-barreled 20mm Gatling gun, fire control system, and a radar mounted on top of the gun. It can fire up to 4,500 bullets per minute with deadly accuracy for 1.5 kilometers. Unlike the US and Chinese aircraft carriers, which are protected by a three-layered defense network, the HMS Queen Elizabeth has a single layer of self-defense weapons and that is the Phalanx Close in Weapon System. This could prove to be Achilles' heel of the HMS Queen Elizabeth, as in the heat of the battle it will be the main target of enemy's anti-ship missiles. That's why it can be vulnerable without medium and long-range defense systems. However, the HMS Queen Elizabeth never sails alone, it will always be accompanied by the Type 45 class destroyers, which can provide it with effective air defense coverage for 300 km. The HMS Queen Elizabeth can carry 40 aircrafts and helicopters including fixed wing, rotary wing, and autonomous vehicles. But its air wing typically consists of 5th generation F-35B multirole fighters, Merlin helicopters for airborne early warning and anti-submarine warfare, and Chinook heavy transport helicopters. The combination of its air wing largely depends on the mission it is assigned with, but it usually carry two squadrons of F-35, two Chinook heavy transport helicopters, and two Merlin helicopters for airborne early warning capability. The reason HMS Queen Elizabeth carry Merlin heli-borne early warning system instead of fixed wing AWACS is because it's lacking the electromagnetic catapult system to launch aircrafts. Experts believe, the HMS Queen Elizabeth provides much needed capability boost to the Royal Navy due to its sheer firepower, and its ability to be deployed at long ranges on short notice, as we saw with its recent deployment to the Pacific Ocean in the Freedom of Navigation operation. The Royal Navy is fifth most powerful navy in the world, but somehow it lacked the power projection capability. However, after the induction of HMS Queen Elizabeth into service, the Royal Navy is back in the game. It can now easily project power around the world, and support the Allies' freedom of navigation operations in South China Sea as well as in the Black Sea. That's all on the topic for now. Be sure to subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Take care and have a great day.